Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back um, to my channel. It's your homeboy Dexter Brains, and this is another one, another easy peasy cheesy tutorial on Unreal Engine 5. And so, if you're not sitting properly, buckle up, let's go. Today, we're going to be talking about Unreal Engine and green screen. Um, you already know that Unreal Engine is, that's, is the future, and uh, green screen production inside of Unreal. It's just magical. Um, so I this is gonna be an intermediate kind of tutorial. So I'm considering that you already know how to do um, chroma key and uh, render your file to have a transparent background, or um, your footage should be should um, contain the alpha channel. So if you do not know how that has been done, check on YouTube here. There are so many, many, many other um, tutorials, a bunch of them that actually shows you how to do that. So without holding you um, for so much, let's jump into it. Welcome to Unreal Engine. This is Unreal Engine 5. This is the future. So um, straightforward, this is a new level I just created. Um, which is pretty much empty, basic. Everybody can do this once you open Unreal. This is this one you're gonna have. So, for us to have green screen footage inside of Unreal Engine, there are three things that we are gonna be needing. So, um, I will just go inside of my content drawer and make sure it's clear. I will take this out so that we will be able to have um, space to create the three things that we're gonna be needing. We're gonna be needing um, our source uh, file, our, our source and the media and the texture. So right now I'm gonna to go to media and I'm gonna to go to um, image, um, media source, and I'll give it any name, that's it. You can call it easy peasy cheesy, that's good. And then I'm gonna right click again, I'll go to the same media. Um, there was a, I'm gonna right click, I'm choose the media file and then click, click the video output media texture, yep. It's very important you click that. I will show you the reason um, why that um, option is very important down the line. Just trust me on that. So automatically it creates a texture file. It creates a media texture, which we are going to use. So now you must have already have your, um, your so I just double click now on the source file and then I'm going to go here, browse. I'm browsing to um, where I save my PNG sequence which is transparent transparent background. It contains an alpha channel. Like I said earlier, I'm considering that you already know how to do that without which go on in it. Now I click on the first one, automatically it's it's queued, the whole thing is inside. So right now, I'm gonna go back into my content drawer, go now open my media player, it's right there. Ignore the other things because those are just some of the other files that I have there. So remember the name I gave it, so that's the name I got. I gave it the name Lead SC. So that's just, I'm going to double click on that. And, well, that's me dancing. I'm not the best dancer in the world, but it's fine. So save that file, close it automatically. Um, the, the media player has created a texture of the file which I just imported inside of media. So I'll go now on inside my editor where I want to place my green screen. Go to my actors panel. Go to. Um, uh, shapes i'll just drag in the plane drop that on my on my space boom take that up and spin it just so i can have it you know have it facing me spin that all the way to 90 degrees boom done at this point in time i will um drag the texture which we created and i'll drop that on top of my plane boom it's there but it's just black we cannot see anything it's because of a reason which i'm going to deploy i'm going to show you in a minute so go back into the content drawer that is the material that it has generated it has generated automatically so um um i will go ahead and uh, make sure that if you look at here you see that the opacity is great which means it's not active it's because our our material is not is set on opaque so i have to change the blending mode from opaque and uh, put it to translucent once i do that you can see now that the opacity is active i'll drag the alpha channel put that inside of opacity you see now that it's 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 gone um i'm transparent I apply that and see if i'll say it's not transparent right now but in uh, subsequently you'll see what will happen so just keep watching save that close this and then go now in here see now that it has changed from the black plane that we had 
now it's white so um we have all these things lined out looking clean and good so jump into my cinematics i'm going to add a new level um because we need to have um a sequence we need to have it on a level sequence i just couldn't ever give call it any name you want to have it then i'm going to go ahead oops it's on the other screen so i'll drag that and bring that here this is my level sequencer it's right here so um easy peasy I want to dock this somewhere in here. Where can I dock this? Where can I dock this? Where can I dock this? Oh, um, down here. Bingo. Bang. It's done. So now in my sequencer, this is where the magic begins. So I'll go um, into my track, click on track, go on media, and then right there on the media plus sign, click on that. Remember the name. This is very important. Remember the name that we had before. So um, the name of the source file, because this is where if you make an error, you're gonna miss the whole thing. So I'm just extending this just so that we have some we have some room. Um, so I will right now nothing is gonna play because that's just the media. So we've not yet chosen the texture that is running on the material so um in the media player so see nothing works absolutely nothing works so i'll go ahead and go to properties and uh, here where it says media texture i'm going to go ahead and choose um which file was that uh, was it was it this one um let me make sure um Something is not right. Oh, 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 hold on. It's not playing. Oh, 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 all right. Oh, my bad. I see that's the error I said do not make. So it is, remember, I gave it the name player video, you know, player. So that was an error I made to when I choose the right texture. Now, boom. See what happens? Now my material is applied and it's transparent. So I'll just go ahead and flip that. On 90 degrees and make sure my z-axis is looking right and bang that is me um green screen inside of unreal engine this is the future actually guys like for real for real unreal engine is the future of everything when it comes to virtual production and uh, so just imagine once you have your green screen clean clean in in unreal engine like this the rest is history easy peasy cheesy so why um while in here you can go ahead and start doing your lighting go ahead and start doing your sounding go ahead and do start doing your animation and all of that i'm just making sure that i'm lined up on the ground so you can see um my footage is actually there instead of unreal um ready for for the go so at this point um i'll just go inside of actors i'm a very dark very dark dude so i'll just pray paste a point like there bring that up to my face so you guys can actually see um just increase the um the intensity so now you can see i play that's me dancing inside of unreal engine but um you don't want to go all the way to the side there are, so there are ways to make um these planes to always face you but you have to go and 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 look at the look up look up for that tutorial so see here now uh my 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 alpha channel is now working but it's not casting shadows so what i want to do is just go inside my details panel search for cast to cast shadow and then cast dynamic shadow just i just i always just you know turn on all of those switches and for some reason bang it gives me a shadow on the floor so check this out bingo how cool is that that is my shadow on the floor inside of unreal engine how cool is that damn man See how I can move my light and you can see how dynamic the whole thing is. You see my shadow inside of Unreal Engine. So, yeah, man, that's what's up. That's what's going on. So, and that's about it for this quick shot um, tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you like it. Please do not forget to subscribe. Um, let me know in the comment box where I went wrong or where we can make it better. I myself, I'm not a pro. I'm not a pro in Unreal Engine. So, um, forgive me if there are any errors and again this is easy peasy do not forget to create repeat delete and recreate again thank you for watching